feel like John Moran. Need a triple double. Told him check the stats. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't drop the ball. Now I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Now I feel like Russell. Feel like John Moran. Need a triple double. Told him check the stats. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't drop the ball. Now I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Now I feel like Russell. Yeah, I need it now. Told him on the lay. I've been moving dog. Yeah, I'm on the way. I don't hear the talk. Don't care what they say. I don't got no patience. I can't ever wait. I've been trying to get it. Running up all these digits. And I've been in the gym. I've been up doing minutes. I just put in that work. Told him it's really business. And I see through the face. Yeah, just burning bridges. Feel like John Moran, need a triple double. Told him check the stats. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't drop the ball. Now I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Now I feel like Russell. Feel like John Moran, need a triple double. Told him check the stats. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't drop the ball. Now I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Now I feel like Russell. Yeah, they don't want it done like I want it, dog. Yeah, they say they want it, then they took the summer off. I've been going down the list, checking numbers off. Ay. I was checking on your numbers, told them something's off. Ay. I was at the bottom, now you know I'm climbing. Now they sending deals, they know I ain't signing. They've been trying to sell it, they know I ain't buying. When they send a text, dog, I ain't replying. Feel like John Moran, need a triple double. Told them check the stats, yeah, I got a couple. I don't drop the ball, now I never fumble. I'm the MVP, now I feel like Russell. All right, welcome Hornet fans to Maumelle Hornet Basketball on Natural State uh, on the Maumelle Sports Network brought to you by Natural State Sports. We are about a minute away from tip off here for conference the conference opener between the Maumelle Lady Hornets and the BB Lady Badgers. I am the voice of Maumelle Sports Network, Steve Henson. Joining me in just a little bit will be my buddy Trip Keeter. He is running camera for us right now as a camera operator running a little late with the weather and such. So as we await that you'll just have to listen to me for the first few minutes of this one. We are just about ready for our starting lineups. As I'm going to switch around and find the right rosters here. But we are just about set 
for basketball as both teams are on the floor and ready to go. Garrison Coach Tennyson in front of us, and we are ready for girls basketball here tonight. Conference opener once again, and definitely a strange feeling starting conference in the middle of December, but uh, we are ready for it. And this is a lady Hornets team that Coach Garrison's got playing really well. Lost in overtime to Cabot in their last outing in what was a very good ball game. And so today, the Hornets look to get started 1-0 in conference against a very talented BB Lady Badgers team. So we are just about set. Buzzer sounds. We'll have the national anthem. We'll be back here in just a minute. So we are ready here to get things started. As your Lady Hornets come into this one. Two straight losses, but two really good ball games. Lost to a Cabot team, a good Cabot team at Cabot, and then lost to a good Greenbrier team in a close one in overtime, 67 to 62. Wins over Mills and Dardanelle. So your starting lineup for the BB Badgers, number 13. Hannah Johnson. Number one, Avery Mills. Number three, Gracie Horn. Number five, Emerson Ray. And number 12, Taylor Thompson. And now your starting lineup for your mom, the Lady Hornets. Number three, India Robinson. Number 20, Tasia Jackson. Number 22, Chrissy Garland. Number 23, Kendall Alexander. And number 32, Jemiah Flowers coming off a big double-double performance in their last ball game against Greenbrier. So looking forward to a good ball game here tonight. All right, here we go. Set the jump will be Flowers. Oh, that is it in the way? Okay. I, I don't have enough cord to move it. I need an extension cord. I can move it to the middle. I, I mean, we can pull it off if we got to. I need an extension cord and a power strip if you got one. I, I just used my last one. All right, so we are set as Alexander will set things up for the ladies. Garland gives it inside to Jackson, back up top to Alexander. And now looking for the three as Garland now steps inside a little easier. Two off the backboard, no good. Going to be rebounded by Johnson, and BB's going to push the other way. So Johnson looking to drive here with Tasia Jackson out defending. Almost stolen, now knocked away. Jackson's got it, going to be taken back by Johnson. And now BB going to try to reset things after the scrum. Get this one across 
Into the corner. Thought about the three. Instead, they'll kick it up top to Avery Mills. Mills gives it to the corner. Now looking to drive is Emerson Ray and stolen. Now Alexander trying to push the pace. Lost her dribble. Picks it back up. She'll reset things up top. Now looking, trying to get it inside. And go cross court. Garland now inside. Nice extra pass to Jackson. Puts it up off the backboard and good. Tells that Jackson gets the first bucket for the Hornets. Again, my broadcast partner Trip Keeter will be joining us here in just a little bit, waiting on our camera operator to get here. So Trip's filling in on camera for us for the moment. They'll kick this one around. They're going to try the three. It's blocked by Robinson. Now trying to go inside with it again. Shot is up off the backboard. That's no good. Rebound. That's no good. Blocked by Garland inside, and Jackson powers down the rebound. Alexander controls, and the Hornets are off to the races. Alexander all the way to the block, lays it up a little strong. Rebound to Alexander, but she was out of bounds. So good action by the ladies here early, playing very good, confident basketball currently. Not looking to try to drive, they'll kick it to the corner. It's BB back up top. It's Ray gives this one away. Johnson now to Mills. Now back to Johnson. Try to run the motion offense. Nothing there so far. Now to the corner. Had an open look. They'll pass on it. It's Johnson. Now she'll take the two. Good D by Jackson and a very late whistle on Tasia. Tasia Jackson will get the foul call. And so Johnson will head to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line to shoot two. So Johnson will shoot two. And the first one rattles around and it'll drop for Johnson and BB. It's up the scoreboard finally. Second one's up. It's good. And we're all tied up here as Alexander brings it up the floor. And they'll give it across to Alexander. Back up top to Robinson. Robinson. Now they'll go inside. Good job inside. And a bucket for Flowers. Now Johnson back up top. She'll cut it across the floor. Now looking to try to get it inside. It's BB. They'll go up top. Had a look at a three. Good out. Good defense. Closed out by Robinson. Steps in for the two. No good. Robinson with the rebound. Now pushing the other way. Go the Hornets. Robinson going to stop. Kick it out. Garland had an open look. Passes on it. Gives it up. Jackson inside all the way to the bucket. A little too strong. No good. And rebound going to go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Hornets. So 4-2 lead here early, 5-0-8 left in the first. Get it inside to Flowers, Flowers, and now they'll move it around the perimeter here as Garland catches it. And Garland across to Robinson. Robinson looks to drive on the right, step back, thought about it, instead passes on it, gives it away to Jackson. Like the ball movement here, looking for good shots are the Lady Hornets. Now Robinson 15 on the shot clock. She gets fouled. Uh, reset things here with 447 to go in the first. Stay, stay, stay. So now Alexander to trigger the inbound. Robinson wasn't there. And now inside, Flowers couldn't get the finish. Ball is knocked around, and the rebound comes away to the Badgers. And Johnson will bring it up the floor. A nice crossover there on by Johnson. Gives it away. Had an open look at a three. Now Johnson looks to drive off the screen. Up off the side. Good shot. Good looking shot by Hannah Johnson, the sophomore. She gets the bucket. We're all tied at four. Yeah. 
So now Robinson with it. She looks to drive inside, gives it away as Alexander. Nice. Oh, it's a good idea. I like the idea by Alexander. Jackson just wasn't quite ready for it. And a turnover by the Hornets. And now into the game for BB is going to be number 22, Rhonda Bisbee. So Bisbee will check in here as set to inbound is Johnson. Avery Perry took the inbound. That gives it back to Johnson, and now they bring it up the floor. Johnson stops, but she walked before the shot. She slid her foot, and there's a turnover by BB back to the Hornets. Jackson will inbound it, and Alexander will set up the offense as they make their way up the floor. Good way to Garland. Nice quick pass to Jackson, but Jackson has it blocked. Flowers gets it back. She goes up off the backboard and good. Jemiah Flowers with four quick points here early. 6-4 Hornets. BB looking to work it inside. Nearly threw it away. Robinson, great defense right now by the ladies. Very strong defense getting in the middle of the passing lanes. This team playing solid basketball here early. I'm looking to try to drive as Perry. She's guarded by Robinson. Now trying to go inside, but lost it out of bounds. As the junior Emerson Ray back to the Hornets. We get a sub here as Mills will check back into the game. And Emerson Ray will sit for the Badgers. 3.19 to go here in the first. Hornets lead at 6-4. to four. Ah, Flowers with four of those six. Now Jackson looking to make it four as well for herself. And Tasia Jackson gets the bucket 8-4. Hornets doing a good job getting it inside right now. And a whistle and a turnover on the inbounds play. Now timeout, Badgers. Full timeout. We'll take a break with them. We'll be back with more basketball on the Natural States on Natural State Sports. Welcome back, Hornet fans. 3.05 left in our first. Hornets lead this one early, 8-4. to four. Now they get it into Jackson. Jackson going to try to go up strong, high off the backboard, no good. Rebound comes away to Johnson inside for the Badgers. Now quickly the other way goes Johnson behind the back. She'll stop at the three-point line, lost her dribble. Jackson tried to take it away, couldn't get it. Now they'll go back across the middle, nearly traveled. Instead, they'll try to feed it inside. Robinson. Now, good roll by Alexander on the D. And we're going to get a jump ball. That's going to favor the Badgers. So BB gets it in. Johnson looking, stops at the elbow, has to kick it out to the three-point line. Again, the Hornets doing a great job denying. BB can't really get any, anything inside. They seem to have quite the advantage in the post play right now. Now they will work it. Work it. A little give and go back up top. Out of the corner. And again, it's down to 10 and a drag for it. Jackson gets in there and causes the tie up. And that'll be Hornet basketball.
Now looking as Robinson gets around the corner through the traffic. Now Flowers with the rebound, puts it back up in the end. Jamal Flowers now with six points here in the first period. Great job there. Uh, Flowers really playing well after the game she had against Greenbrier. And then Robinson getting ready to check in for the Hornets as BB trying everything they can just to get a bucket. Three's on the way. That's no good. Fight for the rebound comes down to the Badgers and now another late whistle. And officials really calling, really getting some late whistles here. Looked like a foul, but kind of swallowed the whistle until after. So Robinson will check in as Tasia Jackson's going to get a break here with a minute 36 to go in the first. A little confusion here as now Robinson finds who she's supposed to be defending. And BB trying to get it in. They do just before a five-second call. A little swinging around to the corner as BB looking to try to get a shot again. The Hornets doing great defensively here early. Now inside, down to the block. They'll try the give and go on the screen, wouldn't go. Now to the corner. BB inside of the block. Shot is up, no good. Alexander comes down with the rebound. Hornets off to run again. Up ahead, but little too much mustard on the pass as Robinson couldn't make the catch. Now to go out of bounds underneath our camera. Don't tell Will. We'll be in trouble. BB will bring it up the floor here. As that is Mills, who's going to give it away. To Bisbee, now they look to go inside with it. Up around the perimeter is Perry. Or Mills, sorry. Give it away and still looking to try to get it inside. The Hornets again still doing a great job defensively. Active hands. And now they'll get the steal off the active hands. Flowers has it, has it tipped, gives it up to Robinson. Now Robinson will settle things down with 38 seconds left here in the first. She'll give it away to Garland. Garland, nice inside pass. Flowers puts it up, and oh, it rolls off the rim. No good. Tough break there for Flowers. Shot it just a little quick. PB gets the rebound. They'll bring it down. Down six. No shot clock. And the Badgers trying to work it around the perimeter again. That's where they've lived so far here in the first period. Into the corner, Robinson doing a good job here. They do not go for the switch. They'll go up top. It's Flowers, not a shooter up there for BB. Now inside, good feed, and that's the best-looking offensive set for the Badgers so far. Now Alexander going to heave it. Half court at the buzzer. Oh, off the rim, no good. And that will do it for our first period of play. After a period of play, Hornets lead this one 10-6. to six. We'll be back in just a minute with more Hornet basketball and Natural State Sports. My name is Brandon Aker. I'm the owner and pharmacist here at Aker Family Pharmacy in Malmo. So here in our pharmacy, we like to focus on a hyper-personalized um, relationship with our patients, and that continues into our service sets. So we offer free delivery, um, curbside vaccinations, as well as custom compounded medications, including extended hours as well. Um, I think you don't know the level of intimacy that you're gonna get with your patients until you really get in it, and I, I can't imagine doing anything else. All right, welcome back, folks, as we are just about set to start our second period of play. Both buzzers have sounded, and we're going to get our teams back out on the floor. Hornets really, really locked in defensively in that first period. Lead 10-6 to six as we head into the second. Hornets being led by Jemiah Flowers with six of the ten. Taysha Jackson with the other four. Now BB will get things started as they'll bring it up the floor here to start things off. Looking to feed inside. We'll see if they can work off of that last offensive set they had right before the end of the period. Looking to try to dig it inside. Crawford denying it to the sophomore Johnson. They'll work it across the top of the perimeter again. That's where they have lived in this game, all the way up top. Thought about the three was Bisbee. She passes on it, and BB will throw it away out of bounds. Another turnover forced by the Hornets.
So Alexander will control. And across, oh, it made this catch. As into the game for the Hornets was J. Brianna West. She couldn't hold on to it. So back to BB here, 10-6 game. Don't give it away. Thought about the three. Instead, got an open look to the basket. Just tosses it up and another late whistle. Tough break there as West is going to get called for the foul. Her first. Is India Robinson going to check back in for the Hornets as they get everything set here. First free throw from the Acre Pharmacy free throw line is up and good. Just make sure you go see our friends over at Acre Family Pharmacy. We appreciate them for being big supporters of Ball Mill Hornet basketball on our free throw line. Second one on its way. Rattles around, falls off no good. Flowers didn't see it go between her legs. And that'll stay with the Badgers. Tough break there. I'm looking to get this one in. Oh, the Badgers and a nice flash to the basket. Oh, and the bucket too strong, no good. Rebound Robinson. India Robinson will bring it up the floor. She's going to run the offense. Looks to drive to the right-hand side. Nothing there. Trying to look in. There's nothing there. Now gives it away. Garland off the screen inside. Nice drive by Chrissy Garland. Garland gets the bucket. 12-7. Hornets lead it. DB trying to find some answers here. And interesting foul call there on London. Tasia Jackson going to check back into this game. Jackson in, and Flowers will get a break. Kick it up top. Johnson makes the catch as Jackson out defending her. Now nearly another steal as Robinson got a fingertip on it. They're going to back her up all the way as Perry controlling. And again, great job. Nearly a three-second call. And that was a travel, and they do call it. So get the turnover either way. One way or the other, we're going to get it. We'll turn it back over to the Hornets with 6.24 left here in the half. And Alexander going to bring it up the floor. Sorry, it was Jackson. Now to Alexander. Now Alexander has it back up top to Robinson. Robinson fires up the three. No good. And Jackson, what a battle. Great job by Jackson to get the rebound. We're going to jump ball, and that will favor the Hornets. Second time Jackson's battled for one on the floor and won the jump ball battle. Great job there. Alexander, long pass. Nice catch by London. London puts it up, wouldn't go. Rebound, Kendall. Kendall goes back up. She'll get fouled, and she'll head to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line to shoot two. First one's up, rolls off, no good. And second one for Alexander. She hesitated on her shot, which got Jackson in the lane. So a lane violation on the Hornets. And so it'll be a turnover with 6.03 to go. No. An empty trip to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. Go see our friends at 1900 Club Manor Drive Suite, 101 in Maumelle. Best locally owned pharmacy in the city. So they'll get this three ball on the way. Air balls it as Alexander comes down with the rebound. Now pushing it the other way quickly. Robinson makes the catch turn. They leave her open. Three on the way. Got it. <laughs> India Robinson knocks down the American Pie Pizza three. And the Hornets lead this one by eight. And looking to drive left. Gives it to Johnson. Johnson back up top. And again, BB not having any success for the most part. Getting their last success inside was the pass. It was a great play at the end of the first quarter, which is also their last field goal. They have not scored a field goal here in the second period. 
They'll kick it across as Alexander fighting for it. Three ball at the buzzer somehow falls as the miracle is answered for the Badgers. And it's 15 to 10. All right, now joining me on the on the broadcast, my guy Trip Keener. Trip, how you doing, man? Pretty good. I had to <laughs> run the camera a bit at first during the uh, first and half of this period, but uh, doing all right. So very, still a good night for basketball despite despite how uh, rainy and, and windy it was outside on the way here. But I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I think we're probably going to have a few more people watching just because of the weather. We appreciate everybody joining us tonight. And uh, if you did, if you do watch this later and you did make the trip out here and you're at the game. Uh, congratulations. You did one heck of a job just to get here, I bet. Because <laughs> it was something else, boy. It really was. I had to go over to Little Rock Christian first to drop off gear for that ball game later. Oh, and, did uh, you? Trying to get here just you know, 430 was a mess. Three ball on the way from BB. And another prayer answered for the Badgers as they've not been able to do anything in this first half. And now back-to-back -back prayer threes have gone, and it's a four-point lead for the Hornets. Really good effort by BB to fight back here in the second period. Yes, hey, hey, luck is <laughs> luck's on their side right now. That one's going to be tipped out of bounds. That'll stay with the Hornets. And sometimes it's it's better to be lucky than good, and that's that's working out for them right now. In their last couple of possessions down the floor, a buzzer beating three on the shot clock that fell, and now a bank job after hours. So BB gets this thing within four with 3:40 now. See if the Hornets. Can keep the momentum on our side. Alexander controls. She'll give it away to Robinson inside to London. Now London out to Garland. Garland drives to the bucket and one for Chrissy Garland. Wow. Unbelievable effort by Chrissy Garland. Fighting through the contact and getting that bucket. And now she's got a chance to make a three-point play. Well, I can tell you one that's going to love to see that will be big brother Colby. Free throw up. That's no good. But Tasia Jackson with the rebound goes back up. She'll get a foul. And Tasia will head to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. And, man, Tripp, i got to tell you, I don't know that I've seen this lady team play with this kind of confidence all season. I've not got to see several of their games here recently. Um, and I know they've been playing a lot better. But, boy, the effort right now of these ladies is impressive. Absolutely. This is my first time actually seeing this lady Hornets team take the court. And they've been – I think most of the effort is uh, due to the fact that this is the conference opener, uh, yeah. I believe. <laughs> and uh, so obviously the stakes are a little bit higher. The game is a bit more important uh, starting tonight. And so will uh, most of the games moving forward. Well, and this is a team uh, that second free throw up and no good. And I can tell you, Coach Garrison going to have some free throw shooting <laughs> drills in practice. That's about the only thing that's not going right. And a steal for Jackson. Jackson off to the races. Johnson trying to chase her down. Jackson puts a great play. Rebounded and put back up by India Robinson. I'm surprised there wasn't a whistle there. There was a lot of contact under the hoop. And also our, our camera down there took a bit of a hit, too. It, it but it's did. okay. I don't know that it's okay. It looks like it definitely took a shot. It's uh, gone. <laughs> Uh-oh. Our, our, our outlet came undone, as I think what happened so that's well, fine we'll get everything fixed before at halftime looks like someone's helping out down there trying to make sure it doesn't fall apart now they'll get it inside looking trying to cross court it i'm looking thinking about the three is bb they won't take the three instead they'll pass it around the key now looking back to the corner and nearly stolen away as zabala has checked into the game three ball on the way that one rattles around no good rebound to india robinson now Robinson trying to push it. She'll slow it down, gives it away to Garland. Garland stops, gives it to Jackson. Jackson, a nice move up, no bucket. And she got fouled on the floor. It'll be the fifth team foul on the Badgers. And so the Hornets will take it baseline out of bounds here with 2.35 left in the half. I think a few people have been uh, filing into Hornet Arena uh, tonight during the, the second period as uh, just get, this place has gotten a little bit louder now that the Hornets are, are fighting to win their conference opener. Garland has it knocked away. Good defense that time by BB. And yeah, Trip, this is a this is a ladies team that's had some struggles over the last two seasons. They've got just three wins on the year so far, but really battled an overtime loss to Greenbrier in their last outing. And this is a team that is really playing a lot better here over this first part of the season as we enter conference play. And that's what you want in a team for them to get better as the season progresses. 
Oh, and that one nearly knocked away. Now Garland fighting for it as I see my guy Easy Money in the comments on YouTube. That was a travel that got away with it. They'll give it away to Johnson. Johnson, three at the buzzer. Oh, no. She gets bailed out with the foul. And so Johnson will head to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line to shoot three. If I was charged to, I believe that was India Robinson. Yeah, and tough break there. Yeah, she she didn't think she had a, you know, drew the foul there. She Her hands were, you know, straight up like you were supposed to on defense. The shot kind of went right into her arms. Johnson gets the friendly roll. Bucket falls. And you sent me the roster that's not wanting to download for me because the service is uh, gone, basically, on my phone. The second or third one's up. It's good. So Robinson brings it up the floor. She'll give it away to Zabala, and Zabala's going to get fouled by Johnson. It'll be the sixth team foul. Tejo will get it in to Alexander with 140 on the clock. Alexander, oh, nice move. Gets inside. Alexander puts it up off the backboard. No good. Rebound fought for as Robinson had it. We're going to get a jump ball, and it'll be BB basketball. That was a bit of an early jump ball call because I believe that was Robinson who came down with the, the rebound, and she still had the ball mostly in her possession and was about to go up for a for a easy layup, but now it is the... B, B Badgers that have the ball. Jackson flashes, couldn't get the steal, but Alexander does get it. Now trying to pick it up. Got a whistle. And a foul on BB, I believe, and it is. Set on number 20. Yeah, Claire Lewis is who they're going to call that foul on, so Lewis gets called for the foul. And that'll put the Lady Hornets in the bonus. So one and one here for Kendall Alexander at the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. And Kendall knocks down the first one. Well, sometimes it's hard to realize how important these free throws are, especially when your team's in the bonus. So it's really good that she's, she got that first one down. Let's see if she can get the second one in. There he goes. Alexander gets them both. Nothing but net on both of them. Looking trip that time to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. A quiet night at the American Pie Pizza three-point line. Make sure you go see our friends at American Pie Pizza for lunch tomorrow. 9709 Mall Mill Boulevard. And that's stolen away by Alexander. Kendall going to drive it the other way. And she will lay it up and in. Kendall Alexander with the bucket. Hornets lead by 10 with a minute to go in the first half. Great hustle by Kendall to get that steal. And she had nobody in front of her to get that layup. Looking to try to get it inside. And now Zabala knocks it away. And I tell you, Tripp, I've been ex I've been very impressed with the Hornets' interior defense. They're not letting anything get down into the paint right now. That's true, and uh, it's kind of led for the Lady Badgers to take these uh, these these chance shots from the three. Now looking to drive, and now they get a look inside, and they missed it. They missed the bucket. Robinson comes away with the rebound. No, Robinson away to Alexander inside Ra London. Robinson going to battle. London has it knocked away. Jackson got it, but Robinson was fouled, and she'll head to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. I believe she'll be shooting two on that one because that was a shooting foul. Make sure you join us at halftime for our Coach's Corner interview with boys head basketball coach Michael Shook as Robinson misses the first one. And we do have an opportunity for sponsorship for the rest of the season on our coach's corner. Do an interview with our boys coach at halftime of this ball game, and we'll have Coach Garrison on halftime of the boys game. So Robinson's second one's up and good. And it is now an 11-point lead for our ladies. And they're despite the big lead, they're not letting they're not letting up on defense or on offense. They're having a lot of effort playing very aggressive basketball. Yeah, right on cue, Robinson nearly had the steal. 
Yeah, trying to roll it. She picked up her dribble. Oh, ooh, boy, that was close. Yeah. <laughs> I know it was tipped, but <laughs> that was close to being a double dribble. Coach Tennyson wanted it for sure. And that's a, tr that's a carry and <laughs> no call. And now gets run over inside and a block. Oh, boy. So the bucket's not going to count. It's only the 16 foul on the ladies. Foul's going to be on Zabala. And I'd say they got rewarded for some bad, bad ba basketball right there yeah, inside. <laughs> that, was, that was a very sloppy possession there for BB, and I'm surprised that they uh, only called a blocking foul. So now it's stolen away by London as Robinson's got it, and that'll do it. First half comes to an end. Your Lady Hornets lead this one 26-15. We'll be back with more Hornet basketball and Natural State Sports in just a few minutes. Come see us today at American Pie Pizza. Enjoy our pizza by the slice daily from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Or catch one of our daily specials like $2 Tuesdays and get $2 off any large pizza. Are wings more your thing? Monday nights are wingtastic Mondays. So get all the wings you can eat for just 69 cents a wing. And don't forget about the incredible cheese dip. Then to finish it all off, be sure to grab a pizookie or one of our other amazing desserts. So head over to 9709 Maumel Boulevard and let our friendly staff serve you today. Call ahead at 501-758-8800 order online at www.ampiepizza.com. Live free and eat pizza at American Pie Pizza. All right, welcome back, Hornet fans, as we are now joined for our Coach's Corner segment with Coach Shook, boys basketball coach. Coach, how you doing? Doing well. How about yourself? Doing well. All right. So first off, let's just let's just start let's start here. Conference play on December thirteenth. How you feel about that? I uh, don't like it at all. <laughs> 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 yeah, we uh, uh, when we were in four A, the first couple years that I was the head coach, it always started then. You know, they had to start sooner to have mm -hmm. time for the the district and regional tournament. Um, and it was always a struggle then just because it puts so much more emphasis on every non-conference game. You know, I, for me, non-conference is all about getting ready. I'm not worried about what our record is during that time. We're still trying to figure things out, um, figure out the rotation, figure out what we're going to do, you know, offensively and defensively. And, and so it just it forces you to make decisions before you're really sure. Um, but, I mean, we're here, so. <laughs> well, and you come into this one, obviously three really tough games over the last three. You lost to a Little Rock Christian team in a game that for three period, three quarters was a really good ball game. Uh, a, a Watson Chapel team in, in Moralton that uh, just kind of got the best of us. And then, obviously, Lake Hamilton away, well, another really, really good ball club. So your team's been battle-tested here the last few weeks. We've talked about it, that some of these home games have felt like games that we'd be playing, you know, in late February, early March. So how do you feel your team set and ready as we get into conference play right now? You know, I, like I said, I, I think we are 
we've grown up. We've had to grow up quick. You know, we talked at the beginning of the year about lack of experience and things like that. Um, starting three freshmen, yeah, uh, and a sophomore. Um, had to grow up quick. And, you know, and, and like I said, when you're playing Lake Hamilton, who's one of the top teams in 5A, Watson Chapel is going to be one of, up there in 4A, Springdale, Conway, they're up there in 6A, mm-hmm. uh, Little Rock Christian's up there, you know, one of the best teams in 4A. I mean, we, we've played a, a good non-conference schedule. Of course, we've had some – some easier wins in there as well, just to build confidence and whatnot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I feel like we're ready. Um, you know, and, and the other thing is we, the entire year, you know, when we talk to the kids, we talk, we, you know, we're open and honest with them, and we tell them we're not worried about non-conference. I mean, yeah, we're going to play to win. We're going to do what we can. But we're also, we played 11 guys every game, you know. We, we had a meeting with them Friday and let them know, hey, the rotation's getting cut. We've given you – plenty of ample opportunity to earn or lose playing time based on your performance um, and told them, hey, here's where we're at. This is your role going forward. And uh, I, I think, you know, and, and eliminated some things, like I said, offensively and defensively that we've been doing, just trying to experiment with stuff. And, and so I, th- I think we're ready now. So this is a BB team that, uh, I mean, we there's been some battles with this team over the last couple of years. I know last year, two really good ones. Uh, the year before that, we had some good ones. It's always a battle with this team. Uh, no Riley Marshall this year, thank goodness, so we don't have to worry about the sharpshooter there. But this is a BB team maybe coming in struggling a little bit. Looks like I'm looking at SB Live. I don't know if these are 100% correct, but it looks like about you know, they've lost their last five. What does this BB team do that, that really concerns you guys and is going to give you some problems tonight? You know, so they're, they're like us. They, they graduated a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think they returned one starter and one that, you know, kind of played a little bit. So so they're like us in that I think they're just going to get better and better as the season goes on. You know, I, I don't I definitely don't think we've seen the best BB team yet. Um, those non-conference games, they're, they're not indicative of, of how talented the team is. Um, you know, they, they definitely play a, a contrasting style. You know, we want to get up and down. They want to, you know – utilize the the shot clock in, in, in each possession and and um i i mean i don't know what their game plan is but looking at their scores i would say they would like the scores you know maybe mid to upper 40s mm-hmm. um whereas you know obviously we would like to be ideally 80s but more than <laughs> more realistically hopefully 60s um and so you know just a contrast in style um, they're, we've got a little more length than them. It, it, again, if the scorebook live uh, information is correct, right. we, we're a little bigger than them. So, so it'll be key that we do um, win the rebounding battle. Uh, you know, that, that was one of the things that at the Moralton tournament we talked about. And we actually watched, when we watched film Friday, um, the quarters that we got out scored really bad against Watson Chapel and against Lake Hamilton, it all came down to their offensive rebounds. You know, and, and we talked about, you know, you, you play good defense, you're where you're supposed to be, you get a hand up, force a contested shot, but then you don't finish the possession, they get a second chance, and usually it's a quick, easy putback or a kick out for a wide open three because we run in the cra- you know, the crash the rebound, and uh, that that's what hurt us, and so that's definitely going to be a point of emphasis tonight. So looking at this one right now, our ladies are, are showing out here in the first game. I don't know, I'm sure you've been able to hear a little bit back there, but uh, yeah, impressive showing, so see if they can hold on to it for another half here, and then uh, you know, you'll have to follow that up with a, with a great performance as well. So a- Absolutely. Co- Coach Garrison's doing an outstanding job. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's definitely, you know, he, he's got a long ways to go, and he knows that, but he also is, is doing a really good job of laying the foundation. The, the girls know that, you know, he's no nonsense, but at the same time, like, he, he wants what's best for him, and he's not doing it just to, to be a jerk or anything like that. He's doing it because he knows. I mean, obviously he's won a lot uh, as a coach, and, and so he knows what it takes, and, and he's definitely got the, the program headed in the right direction. Uh, really excited to see it. it makes it a lot more fun to play after a, a girl's win uh, <laughs> than some of the other games in the past. <laughs> for so. sure. You'll have a nice buzz in the arena <laughs> yes, if this sir. one finishes out like it is. So, All right. Well, Coach, we appreciate you joining us. Good yes, luck sir. tonight. We'll see you here in just a few minutes. And, and I just want to say real quick, I, I didn't. I just found out before the game, um, but prayers out to Coach Harrell, the BB coach. He's got some medical issues going on, and, and, and he okay. apparently hasn't coached the last week or two, and, and I don't know for sure when he'll be back, but just – like I said, thoughts and prayers out to him. Yeah, absolutely. Don't never want to hear that kind of stuff, especially yes, with some of the things going on right now. So we appreciate it. Yes, sir. And uh, we look forward to the ball game here in just a bit. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Thank you. Yes, sir. Bye. 
All right, we appreciate Coach Shook joining us for our Coach's Corner segment. And on that note, I didn't mention it in pregame, but I should have. Uh, you know, thoughts and prayers as well out to the family of Coach Mike Leach, the Pirate. We obviously, Absolutely. for you college football fans, we lost the Pirate officially today. Sad story. Um, you know, it hits a little close to heart for me just because at the, about the same time last week, so a lot of people don't know this, but my mom had a major heart attack last week. So last Wednesday she called me in a panic and uh, we rushed her to the hospital. Thankfully, we got her there quickly. Obviously, I know that's been the big story with Coach Leach is that he just, you know, they, they took about 20 minutes before they found him unresponsive. So sad, sad situation. You never want to see that. So uh, thoughts and prayers out to Coach Leach, his family, Mississippi State community, as well as their players. And uh, we hate to see that. So, and, and again, um, you know, a tough one. I don't know that we've ever seen anything like I know in my lifetime I've never seen anything like that to have a, uh, an active coach pass away from a Power 5 program. So, so uh, yeah, thoughts and prayers there as well absolutely it was really really heartbreaking news to wake up to for sure uh coach leach was i mean there's no other way to describe him but he was a legend yeah he, he was an absolutely amazing coach he, best known for his his uh pre-game post-game <laughs> and twitter yeah all, all of his amazing quotes but also he was just a great coach in general very nice competitor um I'm very happy I got a chance to watch him coach last year when the Bulldogs came to Fayetteville. Yep. Um, re really sad to hear his passing this morning. Thoughts and prayers out to his family. A nice drive by Robinson. She gets fouled on the way to the bucket. And India Robinson will head to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. And the Hornets come out aggressive to start the second half, just like they ended the first half. I tell you, impressive basketball so far here. And we're just going to try to parlay this into the second half as well. And first free throw on its way up by Robinson's in and out, no good. So she'll shoot a second from the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. We're going to see our friends at Acre Family Pharmacy, 1900 Club Manor Drive, Suite 1. You can call them at 501 274 1130 or visit them at acrepharmacy.com. A great place to do your Christmas shopping because they're not just a pharmacy, they are, they've got a nice little shop in there as well. Great little boutique. So go give our friends at Acre Pharmacy a visit. So BB looking to drive inside. That's a long shot, no good. Off the hands of Robinson. She saves it. Great job. And Alexander controls it, bringing it the other way. Now Garland's got room. Garland going to go to the bucket. Up off the backboard, no good. Rebound, Flowers, and Flowers puts it up and in. Lady Hornets extending their lead now, not giving up an inch. Uh-oh. Lost possession of it for a moment. She'll regain. Now nice pass to Johnson. Johnson, oh, might have got away with a push. Rebound inside. Battle for it. Flowers knocks it out, and Robinson gets it. Motwell playing very aggressive here on both offense and especially defense. Alexander off the screen by Flowers. She gets caught up back to Flowers, stolen by BB. Johnson trying to go the other way, trying to get around Robinson. A good stop. Shot is up. No good. Rebound, BB. Back up. That's no good. Fight for the rebound out of bounds. And let's see. It looks like it's going to stay with the Badgers, and it is. So thanks to our cheerleaders down there for fixing our cameras in between. So I didn't get a chance to get over there during halftime because of our coaches' corner segment. And that one thrown out of bounds by the Badgers, and the Hornets will take over after another turnover for BB. So the camera on our on our right side is still working, but not the one on our left. Yeah, we don't have that one plugged up right now. I got to get an extra outlet for that, but we'll we'll get them both up and running again for the boys' game. Trying some new things out tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Will will probably yell at me again. <laughs> Kayla's stressing because she's got extra cameras to pay attention to. Well, Will, I got this message for you. This is Steve's company, not yours. So well, you it's can ours. Like <laughs> it's ours. So can't say that. I'm we sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now Alexander trying to feed it inside. And a good play by Johnson to get the steal. Jackson trying to steal it back. Jackson going to get called for the foul. A little over overly aggressive that time. That's two on Tasia Jackson. Hornets lead this one by 14 with 6.15 to go here in the third. Avery Mills with it. If you do have any BB fans watching, we appreciate you. I know you guys got the Badger Network. Buddy Matt Jenkins running things with your students. Now Jackson inside. Oh, couldn't get it to fall. Fight for the rebound and... 
So a foul on Flowers at first. And it's an interesting location to call that foul from, as he called that from half court. But yeah. okay. I, was, I heard the whistle out of my right ear. I was like, did I hear that right? <laughs> now they'll get it inside. Flowers with the block. Robinson takes it away. And Robinson stops. Now she's going to go to her left. Robinson to the block. Up off the backboard. No good. But Robinson's going to earn a trip to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. Foul is on Avery Mills. Mills first. It's going to make some subs here as London Robinson as well as Emma Browning are going to check into the game. Browning the sophomore will be her first action of the evening. And the shot is up and good for India Robinson. Jackson and Flowers will sit. Second one for Robinson is short off the front of the iron. Rebound comes down to Mills. Lead is still 15 for the Lady Hornets. And three on the way for Johnson, and that's good. Wow. Yeah, Hannah, the, Hannah Johnson, the sophomore with the eight, with the American Pie Pizza three-pointer. The Lady Hornets are defending him hard inside and hmm. kind of giving way for those three-pointers to, to go up, so. Might need to balance it out a bit there on defense. Yeah, that was the first really pure three that they've been able to hit. They're going to try another one. That one's on the way. That one's short, no good. Rebound, India Robinson. Yeah, they, you know, they, they, I think they've only hit three threes in the game. Two of them were prayer threes. Yeah. Now Garland, open look, shot up, and got it. Nice. <laughs> smooth shot for Chrissy Garland. It was really smooth. She just kind of stopped, had her feet uh, footing ready, and put it up there for an easy... Probably about an eight-footer. Thought about the three instead, looking, trying to get it across. Again, the Hornets doing a great job keeping them from getting inside. Johnson drives, and she traveled. Another turnover for the Badgers. Say so thanks to M. So keep up the good commentary, guys. Great job. We appreciate it. Thanks to everybody for joining us. Make sure you share the stream. Got a good group watching us right now. So we appreciate everybody. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. As well. It's our Maumelle Sports Network. I think it's sitting at about third in total uh, subscribers out of our four networks. So let's pick it up. <laughs> it's tied, with the, tied with number one. Robinson looking to drive, going to her left. Now inside, nice pass. Browning got it. Boy, oh, boy, what a play. I mean, there's not really much you can say about that play. That was really well done, especially – but the great ball movement, they almost lost the ball. Still managed to get it inside. That's a new Lady Hornet basketball team, I tell you. Three on the way from Johnson's good. Johnson's got her second three of the half. That'll get it down to 13-point lead for the Hornets. And Coach wants a timeout here to talk about it after another open three for Johnson. 30-second timeout for the Hornets. And I tell you, Tripp, this, is, this has been an impressive showing for our ladies so far. Really has been. They've been, like I said, showing a lot of effort on defense, but playing very aggressively. Um, but with that, I've noticed a couple times with they, they try to steal the pass when, you know, when uh, BB's trying to move the ball. Mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of uh, hurting them a little bit there because that's putting the man they're on wide open mm -hmm. after as they're like reaching out for that thing. So um, might need to stay a little bit tighter. Uh, try not to get these turnovers. They're, they're up by a lot. They're up by like 13 right yeah. now. So they, they, can, they can keep up the great effort, of course, but uh, probably need to lighten it up a bit with the, uh, all the steals because <laughs> need to watch out because the uh, Lady Badgers seem to be really trying to shoot it from the three-point line. Robinson gives it away here, looking for three was West. Instead, she'll give it to Alexander. Good feed inside, and Robinson couldn't quite get it in. Got it back, back up in the end. A lot of contact there inside. I'm surprised they didn't call a foul, but still, great job by Robinson. And Johnson quickly the other way, got away Whoa. with a travel. Now they'll call it. It'll be a turnover as the BB fans wanted a blocking foul, but where? It was almost like the Hornets just kind of pulled the, yeah. the, the rug out from under. She was expecting contact and get, didn't get it. Mm -hmm. 
Alexander gives it away to West. West. Robinson looking to try to drive. Couldn't get around the right-hand side. Now West trying to get inside. Good denial by BB here. Tipped away from West. She'll reset things. Trying to go into Browning, but stolen away by Johnson. And Johnson stuck in the corner with it. She's going to have to burn a timeout as the defense for the Hornets was all over. So, again, the, 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 to me, the most impressive piece right now is the Lady Hornet defense. Yes. You know, it's interesting. Last year, really the last two years, this team has struggled offensively, but the number one thing this team couldn't do was get the ball across half court. And we really saw a lot of growth out of this team from what I've seen from them early. But in this game, this is, this is totally different. This, is, this team looks confident. They look extremely talented. Obviously look really well coached. I think Coach Tennyson and Coach Garrison are doing a phenomenal team with these ladies. And it's showing right now. This team's up 15 here in the third. And uh, they've really dominated from start to this point. So let's see if they can keep it up. The defensive intensity, though, to your point a minute ago with the three-point shots by BB, they're being forced into it, though. Right. Because the Hornets are not letting anything get down into the lane. And, and so just a great job by this defense to not to, to force BB to live at the three. Basically, Coach Garrison saying, look, if you're going to beat us, beat us hitting threes. Right. There's and not a lot of teams in this conference going to be able to do that outside of maybe Sylvan Hills. And Sylvan Hills. They can launch it. We saw that. It's always Silver Hills. <laughs> I believe that's on uh, our mom schedule, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We get Silver Hills twice. Conference Ooh. play for sure. So. I can't wait for that. That's yep. going to be fun. Yeah, they're coming up. So, BB trying to get a little momentum for themselves here as the Lady Hornets continue to play strong defensively. Now back to Johnson, and she runs into Robinson. Now they're going to go back to her. Johnson trying to go to the left. Nice move to the free throw line. Shot is up and good. Goodness, sophomore Hannah Johnson. That's a talent. Yep, she kind of – that was basically her possession instead of BB's possession. She had it all by herself the whole time. Ooh, look at Robinson. Whoa. Oh, and a big contact blocking foul. And India Robinson will head to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. Ouch. They give Gracie Horn some – credit there. She stepped right in there and took that shot. For sure. Another sophomore on the floor. Very young BB team and I'll tell you, some talent, just young and so you know this is a BB team that next time we see them later in the season it may be a different story than what we've seen so far in this one. Robinson knocks down the first one. Glad to see Horn quickly got up from that because that was a big you thought we were watching the Arkansas <laughs> Twisters for a second there because that was a big collision. <laughs> Hey, I want to say a big thanks to our guy. Speaking of the Punishers, QB1 Darius Robinson filling in for us on camera over at uh, the Robinson Christian game tonight. So, and a nice rebound by London Robinson. Robinson nearly got her pocket pick, gives it away to Alexander. 2.10 to go in the third. Alexander cross court, open look. West on the way. A little long, no good. Robinson, no chases down the rebound. Another offensive board. Robinson to the bucket, no good. But Robinson will earn a trip to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. Well, the energy that Robinson's giving right now looks really good. It's great. <laughs> you, done, you, done, you done woke up Will. You know what, Will? <laughs> I, 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 w I won't even take what you said seriously. You spelled my name wrong. I only got one P. <laughs> Will. <laughs> Will I am? Will I am. <laughs> so Robinson knocks down the first. Hey, Will just needs to make sure he's able to set everything up over there at Christian, you know? Yep. Focus, focus on you, sir. You do you, Will. <laughs> Robinson's second one is up and good. So London knocks down both from the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. The Hornets up 16 now, 39-23 with two minutes to go in the third. They'll kick it inside, looking to drive now to the free throw line. Shot is up and good. Good shot there. That was the 22 Ronda Bisbee. West, extra pass as Robinson looking to drive to the left. Gives it up top to West. West looking, gives it away. Robinson, open look. Three on the way. It's long. And rebound. Alexander got it. Goes back up. No good. Fight for the rebound off the hands of Browning and out of bounds. So it'll go to the Badgers. Say hey to my wife, Kristen Henson. She's in the comments on YouTube. Appreciate you joining in and watching. She wasn't able to be here tonight as a five-year-old had his kindergarten performance tonight. So ah. she got to go to that. Now BB got the lead to 14 here by the Hornets. Trying to cut into it a little more. Johnson inside, knocked away. Great job by West. Now India gives it away to Sis. Robinson going to stop, shot up, and good. Wow. Robinson to Robinson for the buckets. <laughs> 
and you love to see this effort by, by this Lady Hornets team. They are playing phenomenally tonight. The effort out of London Robinson has been impressive as well. Fight for the rebound. Alexander's got it. Now pushing it. Three on one. Ahead of West. West stops. Catch up. No good. Robinson with the rebound. Back up. No good. But she's headed to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. Goodness. What a job by the ladies. And London Robinson to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line to shoot two. Tempo's really high from this Lady Hornets team that obviously might want to watch out. That could <laughs> extend your uh, or uh, increase your, your heart rate there yeah. with how fast they're playing. My heart rate never gets up. What you talking about? Uh. <laughs> Again, go see our friends at Acre Pharmacy, 1900 Club Manor Drive, Suite 101. Do your Christmas shopping at a local small business. Timeout, Lady Hornets. It'll be a 30-second timeout. As the Hornets lead this one 43 to 25 with 40 seconds left in the third. Boy, oh boy, what a job by the ladies here in this game. You'd think they're playing for like a, a conference or a state championship <laughs> right now with the effort they're putting in. I mean, it's awesome to see. I got to tell you, I think, well, I, I want to say, and now look, this is me not doing my research today. My, I didn't do my prep work like I should have. But if I remember properly and correctly, this team's only won one conference game in the last two years, and that was against Hall last season. Wow. I don't remember another conference victory. We may have to ask that. I'm 99% sure that's right. But this is a team that the only conference victory over the last two years was over Hall last year here in this building in what was a route, but then Hall returned the favor at their place. So... Yeah, th this is big. I mean, uh, just to just open conference with a victory would be huge, but to do it in such dominating fashion is pretty impressive. It's a statement win tonight if, if the Lady Hornets can keep their lead. And Johnson, no shot clock here. We're under 35. Looking to drive and stolen away by Alexander. Now Kendall running. Kendall two on one. Hornets got numbers. Oh, and what a play by Johnson to knock it away. And it'll be a foul, and Johnson's banged up on the play. Oh, no. Let's hope she's okay. She's not She's not getting up. She's in pain there. I see Band-Aid going over there to check her out. Let's hope Johnson's okay. She hit the floor really, really hard. That was, yeah, that was a rough fall. So Coach will go over and check on her as well. Let's hope Hannah Johnson's okay. She took a crash. Great effort by Johnson to get back and get the block. Alexander, once this is all said and done, is a round of applause to Johnson as she's up. Walking with a bit of a limp. Mm -hmm. She's in some pain, but looks like she's going to be able to shake it off. I'm sure she, I think she hit her head a bit on the on the hardwood as she was also going down so yeah probably she, hurting in a lot of places right now yeah i think she caught her knee on the floor there yeah so ouch came down pretty good so alexander will head to the acre pharmacy free throw line first one's up rattles off no good Yeah, statistics on our scoreboard up here are a bit off. <laughs> hey, it's the first time I've ever seen those lit up. So that's really? just, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's progress. <laughs> Alexander knocks down the second one. Hornets up 19 with 19 seconds to go in the third. And BB gives it away, likely holding for a final shot here. As they'll roll this one up top, trying to drive his parry. To the corner, three ball on the way, way long. Knocked away by Robinson, out of bounds. And that'll do it for the third period of play. After three, Hornets lead 44-25. My name is Brandon Aker. I'm the owner and pharmacist here at Aker Family Pharmacy in Lombo. So here in our pharmacy, we like to focus on a hyper-personalized um, relationship with our patients, and that continues into our service sets. So we offer free delivery, um, curbside vaccinations, as well as custom compounded medications, including extended hours as well. Um, I think you don't know 
the level of intimacy that you're going to get with your patients until you really get in it, and I, I can't imagine doing anything else. All right, welcome back, folks, as we're ready for our final period of play. Hornets head to the fourth, leading this one 44-25. to Tripp, you made a good point in our break there. I know the weather's tough, but uh, the ladies deserve some of the support that we're likely to see for our boys in the next game. Absolutely. And great basketball. Let's get some crowds out here to the ballgame. We appreciate you guys watching. But uh, we need you out here. This is another steal. Can they get it? Jackson going to try to run it down. And Tasia dives on it. Couldn't get it. Hornets have it underneath. And what's the call? I think she might have I think she might have been on the baseline. And she was as Peyton Gober was there. She couldn't stay in bounds. So back the other way come the Badgers. <laughs> been a fun game to watch for the first three periods, that's for sure. Especially if you're a Hornet fan. Absolutely. <laughs> Looking, trying to give it away. Nothing there. Up top. Run the motion offense. Nothing. Now it does benefit an open three on its way. Short, no good. Rebound blocked inside. I think that was Zabala, and it was. And out of bounds as Zabala pleaded for the turnover, and she got it. <laughs> yep. Zabala got that turnover. <laughs> she she pleaded to let the official know that yeah, was out she, of bounds. She was pointing at the baseline saying, hey, she was out right here. Yeah. <laughs> Garland gives it away to Gober inside. Flowers turns up off the backboard. Too strong. Rebound Zabala. Zabala puts Whoa. it up. Just wildly no good. Rebound comes down to Mills. Avery Mills going to control things as she brings it up the floor. I know you thought I said Mills University Studies High School, didn't you? No, <laughs> not at all. I saw you look real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to make sure. Yeah, Jackson's shot is up. No, or not Jackson, sorry. It was Mills on the shot. Rebound comes down to Garland. <laughs> Garland stops looking. Now she'll give it away to Zabala. Zabala works inside. Nice pass to Flowers on the block. Up off the backboard nice. and good. And Flowers into double digits. Yeah, at this rate, Lady Hornets are up by 21. They could probably go up by 35 if they really wanted to. Could potentially see a mercy rule. Now we've got a whistle. What's happening over Shot here? Shot clock didn't start, oh. so they're going to redo it. That'll allow BB to substitute. Do not see Hannah Johnson coming on the floor. I don't know if that's Coach Ritchie throwing in the towel here or what. Now the Hornets look like they may respond by going deep into their bench. A nice pass, nice show inside and a bucket there. That's number 15, Mackenzie Webb. And Zabala with it. Gives it to the corner. Three ball on the way for Garland. A little long, no good. Rebound, Flowers. Dumps it inside to Jackson. Jackson gets fouled on the way up, and she'll head to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. That'll allow the Lady Hornets to have a couple substitutions here. You know, the Hornets are doing all of this without Mrs. Charge Taker, Raylan Randall, on the floor. I think Raylan, what's Raylan got? 16? How many charges? 18 charges drawn on the season already. Wow. <laughs> 18 on the season? <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. May have to just call it. We may have to change her name to checkbook. Checkbook. <laughs> A credit card. Charge it. <laughs> Give her credit. <laughs> We we need to we need to have a bank sponsor yes. when uh, our players take a charge. Man, you are <laughs> yes yes we do. <laughs> we can put some. Hey, look, man, Tennessee's about to pass the high school NIL deal. We can do it for Ooh. Raylan too. That one's stolen away by Flowers. 
Monica Hardaway has checked into the game as well as Kinsey Wall for the Hornets. Inside as Wall gets a touch quickly across to Gober. Gober stops, gives it away to Zabala. Zabala two on the way and a little short, no good. Rebound Badgers. Five minutes left here in period number four. Inside as BB Whoa. gets it. Oh, ooh, maybe a bell. I, was a, I thought it was good D by Flowers. I'm here. Yeah, it was good D. It's Flowers. Does get called for the foul. It's her second. It's a tough call because she really didn't go into the shot at all. She was just standing up, up straight with her hands in the air. And the contact kind of went into her. Speaking of Banks, as Webb banks the free throw in. <laughs> and Flowers will swap places with Zabala. Get a little better rebounding presence underneath. Free throw is up. Tried to bank it again, and Flowers with the rebound. Mamil still up by 20. So Gober will bring it up as she'll control things at the point. I believe that's Gober. It is. He gives it away to Zabala. Trying to get some motion going. Zabala wanted to go to her left. Had it tipped away. Cross to Gober. Back up top as Hardaway has it. Oh, thought about the three. Instead, now nice pass inside. And shot is up. No good. Rebound. Flowers, she puts it back up in the end. Nice. Flowers has 12. Hornets now lead 50 to 28. And the Hornets, a lot of credit, too. Even with going down the bench a little ways, you're still getting scoring. Absolutely. Now inside, they'll kick it out. Long two on the way. No good. Fight for it. And rebound going to go out of bounds, and I believe that's going to stay with the Badgers. And substitutions now galore as that is number three, Gracie Horn, back into the game, as well as number five, Emerson Ray. Now trying to get a steal instead. Lost it. Ooh. That went off of, oh, that went off of Mills' fingertips, but instead, say it's out on the Hornets. It's inside, a lot of contact. I think they're going to get, I believe they're going to get Hardaway on this foul, and it is. So Hardaway will earn her first foul of the game. I think I wore the right socks, though. We're barbecuing tonight, baby. <laughs> I need to go down to Acre Pharmacy and, <laughs> and get me some socks, you too. You do, man. They've got them, too. you got to go see our friends at Acre Pharmacy. I'd rock those socks every day. That one's up and no good. Hey, I need somebody to join the sock game with me. Like, come I'll on, do man. it. I mean, I've got just these yeah, those, those don't work. Socks. Those don't work. <laughs> Trying to look somewhat professional, but maybe I need some, I don't know, some bacon socks or something. Yes. <laughs> or popcorn socks. Hey, I got some of those. That's in and out. No good. Fight for the rebound. Comes down as Wall has it. Gives it away to Zabala. Ahead to Gober. Gober stops back to Zabala. A nice pass into Wall. Across to Garland. Garland layup up and got it. Chrissy Garland with the bucket. Nice. Boy, Chrissy Garland having a great game. I promise you our buddy Colby Easy Money Garland loving every second of it. <laughs> I bet. Now inside looking, trying to get it at the block. Shot is up. A foul call. We'll send BB to the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. <laughs> Gotta check the comments. They're oh, Grady Majors, our buddy Grady's in the comments. He's giving He's giving Will a hard time, and he's right. <laughs> so Will needs to just make sure he focuses on uh, his job over there so Grady can watch both boys' games. Grady won't give me a hard time. But, well, no one gives Kayla a hard time except for that one weird person that keeps DMing you. <laughs> what? And we're going to find out who that guy is eventually. Or jealous woman, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got a problem. I'm going to catch this on camera. Hi, I'm Steve Henson. Why don't you have a seat? <laughs> Oh, don't get me started on Twitter fights because I had my own this past week. That was, and I'm, I'm excited for, for January to come around after seeing all that. I'm excited. Oh, Hardaway had an open look. Didn't take it. Garland's got it, though, at the block. Got blocked, though. Wall comes down with it. Trying to get it away to Zabala. Garland's going to come away with it. 
Now Garland looking to drive. Gives Oh, shoot it. Zabala instead gives it away. Gober thought about it. Now she's going to drive into the lane as it tipped away. Hardaway recovers it. And no. now they will throw it away. <laughs> Some wild action on that one. For real. I mean, they're, they're, they were keeping up the great work there, playing really high tempo. Just couldn't get a get a real shot up for a, for a bit there. I mean, luckily with the score, it doesn't really matter that much. But yeah. Hornets got a little leeway when you're this deep in the bench, too. <laughs> yeah. Now looking, trying to get it inside, and they do. Shot at the block. That's short. Rebound. Comes away to Garland. Chrissy Garland pushing. Hornets have numbers up ahead. Hardaway got it. Puts it up. Lays up. Won't go. And rebound out of bounds. That should stay with the Hornets, and it will. <laughs> Grady, Grady, you're right. Kayla keeps us professional as possible. You're right. <laughs> right. I think Kayla's the only one that really stays professional out of the <laughs> work. The problem is, is Kayla will slap me upside the head or she'll tell my wife to, so I'm in trouble either way it goes. <laughs> oh, that was Zabala tried to go reverse layup. Instead, couldn't get it. Now, fight. What a play. Is that Garland? It is. Chrissy Garland down on the floor battling for it. Now, look, my wife's going to jump in and, and, and jump into this conversation. So, hey, you guys enjoy – the comment <laughs> sections are fun. We are very interactive. Now, if you're watching on Facebook, I'm not. I can't, I can't do it. But YouTube, I will. Thought about the three. Instead, passes on it and gets it out to C Chrissy Garland on the way. Get in there. Chrissy Garland knocks down the three. The big American Pie Pizza three-pointer for Chrissy Garland. Wow. Just wow. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> Badgers now just trying to get out of this final two minutes. Hardaway going to get called for the Fowler's second. A little too aggressive on the defense. Which at this point in the game, they don't, they don't really have to play that aggressive on defense, but it's still great to see that they're willing to put in amazing effort. I'll play all 32 minutes. Absolutely. That's a push off. Got away with it. Air balls it. And Garland with the rebound. Now all got her ahead of that's Hardaway all by herself. She'll lay it up and Hardaway with the bucket. Monica Hardaway gets the bucket. Hornets lead 57-29. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Now inside and good. Hey, that counts as you're pushing the, the off switch. <laughs> <laughs> That's your off switch. She didn't go, it's not live. <laughs> this is true. So 120 to go in this one, trying to feed it inside. Garland has it tipped, tried to save it. She runs up the stands. And that'll be a turnover back to the Badgers. So I got my wish. I said I wanted some barbecue badger. I don't know how it tastes, but so far so good. Maybe a little rubbery. Now if I can get two helpings of it. I don't know how to that one, honestly. I just, I just don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe we'll probably find some place in the middle of nowhere, Texas, to have that maybe has some <laughs> barbecued badger. But I don't know. Somebody's got it somewhere, it's I somewhere. promise. Oh, a foul going to get called on Zabala with, a, with 109. Oh, no, it wasn't a foul. I think they just called out of bounds off the Hornets. So it'll be BB ball here. Now we do have a whistle. Maybe a foul on Gober. <laughs> got, I don't know if you saw that. But you got to love when, when, when Coach yells at you and you're on the other side of the floor and you see it. You can see, you can see it in Peyton's face. As soon as Coach Tennyson yelled, get over here. She was like, uh-oh. <laughs> it's like that I'm headed to the principal's office look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At the Acre Pharmacy free throw line. That's up no good. Rebound Zabala pushing with a minute to go. Hornets going to play off 32. Gives it away. Gober two on the way. Got it. Peyton Gober knocks down the bucket. And this crowd has come alive. Yeah. You can tell the, the, the ones that have made it in for the boys game are enjoying what they're seeing right now. Yes. 48 seconds. 59-31. Gets it to the corner and tries to drive through. And I... Oh, they got the charge. Garland steps in and gets the charge call. <laughs> Talk about a full stat sheet. Great job by Chrissy Garland. <laughs> the, the bench just exploded after that charge. And <laughs> Coach had to say, hey, relax. The game's not over yet. Zabala in Hardaway looking to drive at the block. Gives it back out to Hardaway. Thought about it. Kicks it away. Zabala to Gobert. 
Oh, Peyton thinking about it. Tried to go inside. Stolen away and knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Badgers with 24 seconds to play. Hornets may end up too shy of getting a sportsmanship rule or sportsmanship rule uh, win. Mercy rule. I was trying not to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> a mercy rule victory here up 59-31. Still a good win nonetheless. Almost a steal there. And shot way long, no good. Rebound back up and good for the Badgers with 11 seconds. Yeah, trip a, a one-point win or a 50-point win, it don't matter as long as you're in the W column. Absolutely. Gober going to bring it across midcourt, and your Hornets are going to start conference play 1-0 with a victory over the BB Lady Badgers. Congratulations to Coach Tennyson, Coach Garrison, and a great victory for our ladies. Remember, Coach Garrison will join us for our Coach's Corner at halftime of the boys' game. We'll talk about this ball game, but an impressive performance out of our Lady Hornets tonight. We appreciate each and every one of you joining us. I want to say a big thanks to our friends at Acre Family Pharmacy. Go see them. That's your small business stopping shop for, for Christmas. Go see them, please. You can get your socks. You can look as cool as me in my game day socks. As my, we, we grilling things up. And, uh, and so we appreciate you guys. And, and make sure you go see our friends at Acre. And, of course, go see our friends at American Pie Pizza as well. And they'll get you hooked up on the best thin crust pizza in Central Arkansas. That's going to do it for us for this girls game. We will be back in about 